Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a valve adjustment on this 2003 Honda Rancher 350. Uh, this is pretty much the same on all Honda ATVs. Fairly simple. Show you guys how to do it. Um, and, uh, Let me first show you what it sounds like when you need a valve adjustment. This uh, machine actually only has about 200 miles on it, so it's never had an adjustment done on it before. And um, we'll go ahead and you can kind of hear a slight amount of ticking on it. When it's about about time to do an adjustment on it so let's go ahead and get started on this so the first thing you want to do is remove the seat um, all the plastic covers the side panels and then the gas tank uh, these uh, Honda ATVs have these little plastic pop rivets and the best thing I found to get them out is a uh, tool like this it's like a little fork it's used for pulling little stuff like you know, auto body uh, side panels and stuff like that. So, what I do is I just get right up under the top there and uh, just kind of pry it up and it comes right out. Be careful when you're uh, pulling these fenders apart. There's these little tabs right here, and uh, they can break off pretty easy. So. On it. <laughs> you want to go ahead and re remove the snorkel. We've got a 10 millimeter bolt here. Two 10 millimeter bolts up here on the top. Make sure it's clean on the top so no uh, dirt falls off into the engine. Next thing we want to do is remove these four bolts. This will take the valve cover off and um, get to the valves then. Cover. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the spark plug out because what we're gonna have to do is rotate the engine to top dead center. That way, it will relieve any pressure on these valves. 18 millimeter. And this is a NGK. DPR7EA Okay, what we're going to do now is remove I believe it's a T40 nut or um, uh, This right here will let us 
look, you'll have to take a flashlight or whatnot, and we are going to pull the pull start until we align our T-mark with the um, casing here. Okay, so now that we got it lined up with top dead center, what we want to do, we want to make sure it's on the compression stroke, and you can test this by, if you move them up and down, you want some uh, play on each one. If they're tight, then you know it's um, not on the top dead center um, compression stroke here. So what I want to do is take our 10 millimeter. And we want to loosen up these uh, nuts here. Okay, so the manual calls for point zero one five or point fifteen or um, point zero zero six millimeters. And the way to do this is we're going to take our wrench and our flathead screwdriver, and they're the same for each one. So we'll just uh, stick our sealer gauge up under here. Tighten it down until you feel a slight resistance. You want to still be able to move the feeler gauge. Once you get that, turn not to move the the flathead um, screw. Tighten it down. Still move it. Good on that. Same thing for the other side. Make sure we clean any dirt off the valve cover and gasket here. We're going to install our new gasket here. And we'll install the cover. Better do that with a torque wrench, um, but right now my torque wrench is currently missing, so it's gonna have to do with the ugga dugga way. All right, get the other uh, covers installed. Okay, I got these uh, covers cleaned up a little bit.
So I'll never plan on taking this foiler in any deep water. I believe it's just too nice and kind of hard to find nowadays. These old ranchers um, with no miles on them. So, but things happen. So um, one thing that is good to do is around this edge here, it can let water get in. These aren't sealed. They they put a little bit of seal around here, does it? But it doesn't seal well. And as I was washing this, water was pouring out. So I just take some of this uh, Loctite uh, roof sealant. It's not a tar. It's a polyurethane. And just go around. Just go around this um, a little bit. And that'll keep any. Uh, Any water from getting in. I'm about to get some new vent lines soon. This thing's getting pretty, pretty dry rotted. All right, now for the side covers. Don't forget this little thing. Um, it's, just a, it's just a Phillips head screw inside of it. And this is what turns your gas on and off. Got her all put back together here. Let's uh, crank her up and see how she sounds. Pretty nice. Didn't even have to give it any gas or anything. No more, uh, no more noise either. Let's take it for a little ride. Try and do this with two hands. guys Just uh, I love these old ranchers. They're, uh, I've had quite a few of them, and uh, they're just just really good machines. Let's take a look at this one I got over here. This one right here I've had. It's a 2003 also, and it's had a rough life. This thing has a little over 8,000 miles. 1,395 hours and uh, this thing this thing runs pretty good Let's see if it starts this thing hasn't started in a long time either and uh, it runs good so uh, I like these things good machines I'm gonna keep this one nice um, I got I got a bunch of other four-wheelers to drive, so I'm going to try and keep, keep this one nice here.